In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the map function provided by the underscore JS code library. To make use of underscore, you either have to include it with a reference to a CDN URL like I have here, or you can actually download underscore.js and uh, make use of it from your own folder within your website. So basically what the map function does is it allows us to iterate over a collection and then take each item in that collection and do some type of transformation on it and then return back a transformed item, maybe just a, a particular property of an object or maybe the result of some type of mathematical calculation. But all of those return values for each item then get populated into a new array. So the map function is really useful for transforming collections of data. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So we're going to come in here and we're going to create a new array of colors. This array will have red, blue, green, and black. So now to call the map function we have to do underscore dot map and the first parameter we pass in is our uh, collection. Now our collection can be an array, it can be an object with a bunch of properties and it will iterate over the properties or it could be some other type of collection type of data structure like a node list um, on a DOM element um, and it can iterate over those. Um, so we have our colors here and then we're going to have our transformation function and we're going to pass into it three different parameters. We're going to say value, key, and then we'll say items. All right, so value represents whatever the value is of that particular item in the collection. It could be an object, it could be a string in the case of colors, whatever that is, that's the value. The key is the thing by which we use to reference that item in the collection. For an array, it would be an index value like zero, one, or two. For uh, an object, it would be a property name, such as name or age or weight or something like that. Finally, the items um, parameter here represents the original uh, items that was passed in over here when we actually called map. So we could actually use the key combined with the original list of items to actually retrieve the value if we wanted to. But we do get this value here as our first parameter. Now the thing about map is that map actually returns a value. So we need to put a variable here. We're going to call it mapped items. All right, and we're going to store our resulting uh, transformation array here. So now let's just do something very simple here. We're going to basically do return string. We're going to take our, our value, make sure that it can convert it to a string, and then we're going to return it with two uppercase. So we're basically going to transform each item in our colors array, making it uppercase. So we'll come down here and we'll say console.log or console.dir color or mapped items. There we go. So now we'll jump over to our web browser. We'll reload our page and we'll see that we have our array of four items, red, blue, green, and black. And we'll notice that each of them has been uppercased. So the original array had everything with lowercase but our map function transformed this to make them uppercase. Let's take another look here at an example of an object. We can say object, and we'll say name will be Bob. We'll say age will be 32. We can do um, weight, make him 200. And we'll say uh, hair color, and we'll make it red. So now we can come in here and pass in our our object. Now this is going to iterate over the properties in an object. So instead of doing value this time, why don't we do the actual names of the properties? So we'll pass in key and then we'll hop back to our web browser and we'll reload our page. We'll see that we have our new array. And now we have name, age, weight, and hair color. So we were able to take the value and transform it as well as take the key and transform it. The last thing I'd like to take a look at is actually doing this with a DOM elements node list. So up here we have this DOM element called um, 
uh, it's an it's a unordered list, and its ID is car list, and it has a bunch of list items underneath of it. So what I want to do is I want to pull out the text for each of these list items and store that in an array. Now we're actually going to have to make use of two underscore functions to do this, but I want to highlight how we can use the map function to do it, and then at the end I'll show you the additional underscore function that we can make use of. So what we want to do is we first want to get a reference to this DOM element. So we're going to come down here and say var car list element document dot get element by ID and we're going to say car list. So now we have our DOM element. Now we're going to want to iterate over the child nodes of this to get to each of those list items. So we'll say child nodes. All right. So now it's going to iterate over those child nodes. Now what, we, what we're interested in grabbing is the value. So if we come in here and we say value, we can say inner dot html and what this is going to do is actually return the inner html property of the value now the value in this case is actually going to be a dom element so it's a full-blown object so if i do that we can output our mapped items to the console and we're going to see that we get an array now in our array we get undefined because what happens is there's actually a text dom element then a list item dom element then a text dom element in between each of those list items and so those have no actual inner uh, inner HTML they're just it's just a, a text DOM element that's between those list items so what I want to do is I want to strip out all of those undefines so using another function provided by underscore we can use the filter function and we're gonna pass our new collection our new array of mapped items and we're gonna pass into it undefined and this is going to filter out all of the undefined values. So we can reload this, and now we see we get an array of five values, and we have compact, midsize, full size, light pickup, and heavy duty pickup, which is exactly what we have in our list up here. So using the map function, we were able to transform items in an array or, a, or properties on an object or the items in a node list, transform those and produce a new array with those transformed values uh, to be able to extract out certain pieces of information and then be able to further manipulate them later within those new arrays.